Hello my dear family members, if you are preparing for Capgemini and if you have questions like can you share the real questions, is this really hard and how to prepare for that, do they really repeat the questions. So if you have all of these questions in your mind, then let me share the answers one by one in this video. Just one request to you guys, please make sure that you are subscribing this channel and watching the playlist of Capgemini and if you are watching the playlist, then make sure that you are sharing the playlist with your friends as well. So let me share. The answers all of these one by one. Hey, you ready for the future attack? No UF is here with premium prep materials. No need to fear. Cognizant Accenture TCS and more. We'll get you ready. Open up that door. So at first, let me tell you about the most important. Uh, most repeated questions I am getting that is is it really getting hard in Capgemini pseudocode actually earlier earlier what happened uh, higher pro was conducting the exam okay and nowadays who is conducting AON is conducting the exam okay now higher pro used to conduct the exam and their difficulty level was easy but in case of AON they are giving the questions and the questions difficulties are easy only and i'll say easy to a slightly medium nothing up apart from that why i'm telling it because if you have not prepared anything then in in your case it will be hard if i just tell you print uh one two three then if i ask you this question then you will if you have not prepared then you will say it is very hard question but if you have prepared then it's easy for you right so this is the thing happened and very honestly they are uh, slightly asking the questions from pointer slightly not for all and most of the cases they are asking the suit code from zor operations uh, logical or operations bitwise or operations bitwise and operations logical and operations nothing else so if you are preparing and also recursion so these four topics are hot topics in case of pseudocode so if you are preparing for these and if you are preparing with these concept then you are getting common questions okay and if you are preparing the prefetched questions also then you are getting the previous i mean repeated and common questions for your case as well now let me share the real questions they have asked earlier so that you get to know about the real questions the first question shown to your screen so guys whenever i'll show the question please pause the video and try to give the answer in the comment section this is the real question no one will uh, show the questions in the screen so i'm just taking the risk and showing the answer showing the questions so please guys do subscribe and motivate me to make more content now uh so this is the questions from recursion so please give the answer guys if you are giving the right answer before i give then i'll show the name of you in the next video okay so integer functions uh, so this is this, this written and the value of p and value of q are written uh reinitialized i mean they have given the values okay now this is the functions and you can see if i just go line by line then at first we have to meet this if block if p is less than q is it true yes 8 is less than 9 so it is true in case of logical and operations both conditions should be true so that we can go inside the if block okay and p is greater than 0 yes p is 8 is greater than 0 so both are true so we can uh, execute the if block okay now what's written inside if block that is returning this function itself so that means it's a recursion functions okay so one plus function q minus 3 p minus 3 so q minus 3 is uh q minus 3 is 9 minus 3 that is 6 and p minus 3 is 8 minus 3 that is 5 right so what is the new value of p and q people make mistake here what is the new value of p and q that is new value of p is remain the same position 6 and q it is 5 only but students make mistake here the new value of q they think is the first one and p is the next one okay now one plus this function so now as soon as this is called as soon as this is called it will again uh, start from the beginning okay the flow will be from the beginning again so the new value of p is 6 and q is 5 now if p is less than q 6 is it less than q 
no it is false so in case of logical and operations if the first case is false then we don't have to check the next case right so now we don't have to execute these functions now we will directly we will directly go here and return the p plus q so we had one already plus but it is as of now in progress this function execution is in progress what we are returning now p plus q so new value of p is 6 new value new value of q is 5 so 6 plus 5 will be 11 right but students make mistake here as well they think that p is 8 q is 9 because this p q are inside the function so that's why we have to uh, we don't have access to those but p plus q is actually 6 plus 5 that is 11 now this value is returned here returned here 1 plus 11 now it will be what 1 plus 11 that is 12 so that's why the output will be 12 okay i hope you understood now you can see in the options b it is option uh, like 12 it is already present so option b is the correct answer i hope your answer is also 12 so if is if it happens then please let me know in the comment sections okay now let me go to the next question that is um, okay let me share the next question that is this so guys please pause the video and try to give the answer before i give right okay now just uh, let me tell you one thing if you are preparing through the previous questions if you are preparing through the best questions and the most repeated questions of pseudocode it fundamentals coding questions and all of these things then you are getting common questions and you are going to crack the exam so if you want to prepare for it fundamentals pseudocode and coding questions then please please consider the prime materials at topmate.io slash techno this link is already pasted in the comment section so please go through that you can check the feedback of students provided below okay and all of these are genuine you can see the feedback of students at the below okay so i hope you will consider it the link is given already in the comment sections or in the description box and mix let me just tell you more than 2000 people have already bought this and they are cracking more than 6.5 lp jobs so please consider it okay now let me tell you the answer for that question okay so integer a b c a is equal to 7 b is equal to 7 c is equal to 9 at first the value of a b c are initialized if this is true then execute this if not then execute this so if 6 plus c so 6 plus c is 9 minus a is 7 6 plus 9 is 15 okay 15 minus 7 is 8 if it is greater than a plus b a plus b is 7 plus 7 that is 14 is it greater no so at first the first condition is false so if it is false then it will not be executed and it will directly jump to the print statement a plus b plus c so a is 7 b is 7 and c is 9 so 14 plus 9 it is uh, 23 okay i hope you understood so for your case i think uh, it is 23 let me just uh, give the answer for the next questions as well guys if you have any confusion any queries any help needed then please comment down or if it is personal then please damn me at my stand handle i'll try to assist you there okay uh, it can be a financial issue to purchase the materials it can be uh, any strategy or any guide in your career then please let me know in inbox okay i'll try to assist there now let me go to the next question also guys please join the telegram channel t.me slash we can there you can discuss about your career your your latest exam and latest questions okay i hope you will consider to join the channel okay so this is the next question please pause the video and try to give the answer guys string str1 is equal to pp str2 is equal to q q q q q q print count console lower str1 plus lower str2 plus lower str1 so this is the question now how will you give the answer uh, and the note is already written that count console will print the consonants and lower will convert the string into lower okay i mean lower character uh, lower case and str uh, sorry this is the things written in the note now these are the options 16 9 6 so please 
consider one options among these and give me the answer in the comment section okay now let me just discuss so at first str1 is equal to pp and step 2 is equal to qqq from where we have to start we have to start from the beginning str1 is equal to uh p small p capital p plus lower str2 lower str2 means all the letters will be lower so q q q q all these are lower now and lower str1 so this both p will be lower here as well okay and now again it is lowering down all these characters so it will be lower all of these are lower and all all will be concatenated concatenated right so strings will be concatenated now how many characters are there one two three four five six seven seven characters are there and all of these are all of these are consonants right they have not talked about uh unique unique consonant they have talked about only consonant so that's why if i count the consonant number of consonants then total seven will be the count in this case right so it is already written that 16 9 6 are in the options but one options is not visible so that probably is seven okay or none of the above so if it is seven then that is the correct option if it is none of the above, then none of the above is the correct option okay i hope you got now let me go to the next question uh next question is this yes, please pause again and give me the answer just assume you are giving the exam right now and just open your uh pen and paper give the answer give the exam right now okay so p is equal to one q is equal to three r is equal to six if three and p less than q or three and r less than p then this 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 what is the value of p plus q plus r according to you okay i hope you have paused if you have given the right answer then i'll give i'll show the name of you in the next video so if three and p at first you have to perform bitwise and operations so three is uh, one one in binary and p is one so it is zero one in binary now if i perform logical sorry bitwise and operations so both are true so it is true one is false so it is false this is equivalent to one now what we are performing now logical or operations so if it is anything anything greater than zero then it is true if it is anything greater than zero then it is true okay and three and r three and r less than p so let me just check so i'll not check this actually because why in case of logical or operations if the first condition is true then we don't have to check both conditions if one condition is true then we can go inside the if block so as of now if it is true we are going inside the if block okay now p is equal to p plus p so new value of p is 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 and new value of p will be equal to r plus 1 and p r plus 1 means 6 plus 1 that is 7 and p is 2 so if we perform bitwise and operation so 7 is 1 1 1 in binary and 2 is 0 1 0 in binary now if i perform bitwise and operations then 1 is false so it is false both are true so it is true 1 is false so it is false right so 1 0 it is equivalent to 2 now the new value of p is actually 2 and you can see if we perform print statement this a line then p plus q plus r will be p is equal to 2 plus q is equal to 3 plus r is equal to 6 so the new value will be i mean this value will be 11 right so it is already in the options in case of you i hope this is also uh the answer for you so 11 is the uh, in, in the options so this is the correct answer so this was the last pseudo code for today's session just let me share one important insight for you that is um yes guys if you if you have the same questions like can you share the real questions please visit a top slash tech underscore uf this will be very much helpful for you people are giving good feedbacks to us five stars to 4.7 uh stars are giving people so please consider that it will be helpful for you okay now let me discuss one important thing that is after you give the capgemini technical round as soon as you give the capgemini technical round i mean if it fundamentals 
see the code then immediately you will see the coding round will start okay and this time coding is mandatory to get any package to get the interview call okay so make sure that you are performing good in coding as well so to make sure that you are getting common questions in coding please consider the previous year questions to practice and please follow the playlist of capgemini at techno uf2 channel you'll get common i think so thank you for today's